Okay, we're playing some Last of Us Remastered on the PS4. Looks like someone jerry-rigged this thing. What, the table? I, they jerry-rigged the table to explode on impact. Of course, he meant the wire that leads up to the generator that you then call then opens the door. Spoiler. But I'm not playing with Rayfu, so it's not a spoiler. I'm just playing through this little section. I may have other videos to upload. But yeah, this, this part I like particularly because you can either just go in there and kill all the runners up there, or you can do it the stealth way without getting seen once, which is what I'm going to do today. Because originally when I played through this on the PS3, I um, I did this first time, my first try playing through, which was actually surprised me because obviously at that time I was new to the game. And funny enough, the second time I played through I got killed a couple of times. Don't know how. I think I upped the difficulty. So probably made a difference. But this is on normal and the first playthrough on the PS4 remastered version. <coughs> See, this part's all about tactic if you're going for the stealth kill option. Because, as you see, um, that one there, she walks around in... She'll walk around that, through that door, then come out the other corridor. And basically, she just do a loop around that door, through the corridor background. So you basically have to go around her flank and go for the takeout. Probably taken no good to do it than I should, but uh, I don't want to mess it up because otherwise this video would be like I failed at stealth. <coughs> this game's pretty good if you you do stealth. I mean, obviously when you. have Completed it once and upgraded your weapon. You can just fire away on your second play and not be bothered about stuff so much. Mind you, you can do that on your first time through as well, to be honest. But when it's your first time playing the game, you're cautious of your ammo. Like I was on PS3 when I first played it, I was so cautious on ammo that I didn't use my gun as much. But now I realise you can actually use your gun more than you actually... Well, you can use it more than you actually need to, if you really want to. Because <coughs> you pick up many weapons. By this point of the game you've got all the guns anyway. Ah! <sighs> 
This is another tactic part. So you can go about this part one of three ways. Um, the shield walk around in a circle just like the other one. Or basically. But you can either get her as she goes past the door there if you're on the other side. Or you can jump through this window when she has her back to you and grab her but that's a chancy move because sometimes that can get you noticed by the ones that are standing in the corners and then they will run after you and then you just got to kill them if you're made and then you shoot them or you can go with the option that I'm about to do because you see she had her back, she's open and she's got her back walking towards like that Leaves her wide open. <laughs> See, that's <coughs> that's not what you want to do from that angle, unless you're confident in taking the shot. Then you go for it. But this this way is a lot easier because she's wide open, right at her back. For example, there. You get a lot longer to find her. So I'm going to take the shot when she goes around again. I could have taken the shot when she went round just now, but I just wanted to prove a point that her back's wide open like that. And that was the easy bit. Because this bit you can just go around taking them out one by one. You don't have to get really close to them, like right next to them close to grab them, as you'll see. Because this is how I did it on the PS3 version. But when I played it on there. <coughs> See if it comes up. <coughs> Although to me that makes a lot of noise because you're like grabbing them and then they're making noises you're choking them and that bit. No. The others don't seem to care, so... See, if this was clickers in it, it would be a different matter. I mean, if you've got the shiv upgrade, then you can just shiv them. It's, it's, but if you don't, then your shiv will break straight off. So. Whereas if you've got all the shiv upgrades, I think you can stab three times of it before it breaks. <laughs> or it doesn't break out, I can't remember. I haven't done the shift upgrade it on this version. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty simple. Go up and down. And now to the last one. <laughs> and that's all she wrote, and that was a self-demonstration on The Last of Us. And that's that.